Well, hey again. I'm going to kind of do a part two of our bender install. It was a lot of trial and error, uh, a lot of measuring and trimming a little bit here and a little bit there. And I really couldn't make one video of this is how I did it. Um, I took a lot of pictures and that's what I'm getting ready to show you. Um, basically what I did was I did the, the 15 16th hole and I, I showed you in part one how to find that. Uh, instead of keeping the pool cylinder really super tight I decided that I was going to use the screw holes that are in it to keep uh, the base of it from moving around. I think that's going to end up being better in the end. And it allowed me to open up my routing a lot more for the linkage itself. Uh, once I got my basic minimal shape routed into the body from the template that we made in part one, I then started to just sit the lever in place, deciding on where I should put the center of this lever so that I got full moment, full movement on my pull cylinder and it ended up being where I wanted it at as far as my stroke on the front of the guitar. I then took the half inch, it's just a half inch steel dowel. It's been drilled and tapped for a 1232 screw. Uh, I think I should have probably went with a 1032, but I wanted to beef it up just a little bit as long as I'm doing all this work. Um, I then got a roller bearing that would, the outside diameter, whew, the outside diameter of that roller bearing is three quarters of an inch. The inside diameter is half inch. So I have a half inch shoulder bolt. Once I found center, the half inch shoulder bolt, the head on it, just happened to be the same 15 16 so I drilled down to the head. It was all pretty straightforward, but it, it was just a lot of trial and error and trimming here and trimming there. I do have it in good shape now. Works nice and free. That bearing feels so much better. And like I said earlier on part one, you know, part three is going to be we'll get the spring on it and we'll get everything set and we'll see how it does. For if you're following this, I, w I did want to let you know that I'm still still working on it. Um, the last thing I did was I needed to paint, but I wanted to do a template. And I have another template that covers it. That way I can use the screws to hold this pull cylinder in place and uh, it's clear it looks pretty good but I'm not going to have it clear ah, I'm not going to have it clear we're going to have a walnut uh, cover over it we'll use the clear just for uh, my initial template and for being able to show you how, how it's working. I just wanted to give you a quick update on it. Yeah. I'm scrolling the pictures in the order that I took them so you can you can see the steps that I went through. Yeah. It's, I think it's going to be a lot nicer than the plate. I like this a lot better. But it, it's, not, it's not done yet. Uh, hopefully very soon. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and keep up with us. I try to cover a little bit of everything. If there's anything you want to see, uh, just let me know. 
and next time I'm doing something like that in the shop here I will cover it for you and until next time take care and be safe